Hi, my name is Megan, and I'm a tutor here at Prepped and Polished and also an executive function coach. I've been in education since 2007, and I've had a variety of roles, from classroom teaching to academic advising, and I've worked primarily with adolescents, um, middle school, high school students. Developing executive functioning skills is a crucial and necessary component in setting students up for success, specifically in adolescence. These skills are ones that they're going to use long after their middle school, their time in middle school, in high school, in college. In a sense, executive function skills are more important than what they're going to learn in their core content areas. Essentially because executive function skills and the strategies that they'll learn in executive function coaching become a foundation on which they could build their core content areas upon. We don't expect students to understand concepts or master skills in their core content areas before they're introduced and before they're taught. For example, assuming a student knows algebra before they've ever stepped foot in an algebra classroom seems like an unfair expectation because it is. And the same goes for executive functioning strategies. Like any other course subject, teaching executive function strategies requires scaffolded instruction and an iterative approach. An, anal an analogy that I use with clients is relating executive function coaching and conditioning to training for a sport or learning a musical instrument. It takes time and patience and practice to master those skills. Tom Brady didn't just walk onto the field and become one of the greatest of all time. There was a lot of work between where he started and where he is now. And the same goes for building executive function skills. So the term itself, executive function, is a little bit vague and could be somewhat intimidating. Executive function breaks down into three components, and here at Prepped and Polished, we're very purposeful in the order that we approach each component with our clients. We start with materials management, time management, and then information management. And then we'll circle back iteratively to all three of them. What this looks like in a session is making sure the client understands the interconnectedness between materials management, time management, and information management. An aspect of executive function coaching that is crucial is the emotional component. Checking in with my clients each session. How are they feeling? Emotional regulation isn't just about how they feel about their academics. It's how they feel about themselves in relation to their academics. In each executive functioning coaching session, we talk about what's on their plate academically, what's coming down the pike academically, where they're at with their obligations for sports or extracurriculars. Uh, we talk about and break down how the previous week went in terms of their own materials, time and information management. That kind of self-evaluation with support helps clients begin to recognize the line drawn between what we're doing in session and the impact on their academic experience and overall academic success. In order for students to understand and practice these skills, they need to be actively supported and taught just like any other academic area, skill set or subject. So we know that districts and teachers do the best they can in helping students develop executive functioning strategies and understanding what executive functioning skills are. But as a former public school teacher, I can tell you, there is a tremendous amount for public school teachers to prioritize. Class time spent solely on executive functioning strategies is gonna become a competing priority. And unfortunately, that tends to lose the battle in terms of what could be addressed in the classroom during the school day. When a student learns about, develops, and starts to implement and strengthen their executive functioning strategies, there will be a positive domino effect across the content areas in all of their academic subjects. Not only do students learn how to organize and manage their time, they learn how to advocate for themselves. They learn things like how to write and respond to emails and communicate more effectively. Whether with a teacher about a particular assignment or test, or with their own peers about a group project that they're working on, Implementing executive functioning strategies and understanding how to communicate effectively to manage a situation allows the student to set themselves up for success. For more information on our services and how Prepped and Polish could help support your student, please visit us at PreppedAndPolish.com. We look forward to hearing from you.